Swear to God, I don't be talking about the fat niggas. I don't fat niggas. I ain't lying, nigga. I don't want my mama. Yeah, time, nigga, just listen up, you know. Hey, that little hoe missing, you can't tell her nothing. Oh, God, she gon' spread the word. Hey, a lot of grandmas like I'm trying to win the war. Wait on the first and third. Got a lot of bows, I ain't talking about clothes. But he trying to get a shirt. Hey, young nigga busting pack, got the pack. I'm trying to get a bird. Heard them niggas say they still trying to get me. Well, I'm trying to get a murder. I don't take shit lightly when they talk. Cause I'm about to get a bird. Oh. Say a nigga gon' rob me when they see me. Uh -huh. You about to get him hurt. Hey, make me clap my hands. Chop him, make him dance. Oh. You about to get him hurt. Hey, tell your home girl, leave me out of my mouth. Uh. All in my dick, bitch. Uh -huh. I swear to God, you ain't gotta say my name. No. She get in that bitch panties. Right. If she wanna fuck, she gon' let you fuck. Uh. Without saying my name, bitch. Chuck us out, try to throw me under the bus. bus. Nigga, that ain't shit. I swear it's enough money for everybody, nigga. Everybody you know, know I ain't shit. I ain't never worried about who a nigga fuck. Uh. Oh, well, he ain't spinning. Fuck, I'm frowned up, cause another nigga hustle. Uh. This ain't no hate you business. Talking that I swear shit. to God, I'm one hardest motherfucker. Yeah. Nigga, I don't like feelings. Affiliated with the KKK. Uh, uh. Cause I do not like niggas. Before you play like with niggas. yellow, say you better reconsider. Uh. Go play with your white nigga. Don't play with it. Like her stud, I stay with a strap. Just like a dyke nigga. Uh. Fuck that little bitch from the back. People. She jumped on my lap, cause she scared of ice nigga. All of your thugs, I'm gonna look like I'm a skate. Out of this ice nigga. I'm fucking on his baby mama. She said I got meat for a little bright nigga. If I want the nigga head on God, he dead. Don't play with your life nigga. I'm not giving a fuck about hype nigga. You be beating up bitches, I ike nigga. I be beating up niggas, I fight. Nigga. Hey. Bitch, act like you know uh. When you said it, you knew it gon' start a lot of shit uh -huh. Why you act like you slow? Huh? I know a lot of niggas still make a living Ooh. I been hot on that stove Six, four, first at the age of four I shot my uncle, take nine uh. in the floor MC real good, get down on the floor huh. Baby, grind on the floor uh. Shooting dice, nigga, just want a dime on the floor uh. Own money, nigga, never mind on the hoe uh. Real player, nigga, never mind on the hoe You uh. give money to a bitch, I get mine on the stove uh. Don't ever bitch, get mine to the bro Swear to God, I'm never minding you hoe MC real good, get down on the floor Oh, I, oh, I baby, 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 grind on the floor Shooting dice, nigga, just want a dime on the floor Yeah, hold on, let's see that CG. Let it go a little bit. Let it go a little bit. Go. I've been running out of patience. Time to watch cause I'm a Mercedes. What was he thinking? I was gon' spank him. Niggas be playing crazy when they know that it's dangerous. Put a hide on a drinky. Dumping on him on a daily. None of them was on safety. Pin a nigga to the pavement. Kept it real with the fakers. He was knowing I'ma sneak him. A lot of bites cause a bracelet. A lot of thoughts I be thinking. X hitting hard racing. Get close enough to taste it. You gon' see me on the bangers. I'ma shoot fuck thinking. Tell me court back to Rangeland. Red zone, rich gang. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get Get down on the floor. Shooting dice, nigga, just want a dime on the floor. Oh, oh, man, a nigga, never mind on the hoe. Uh, you now tuned into me, 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 Listen, man, Texas in the building, man. Dallas. Turn my shit down a little bit, man. Dallas, Texas in the building, baby. Damn, you got my motherfucking shit on. In the building, baby. And it just busts my motherfucking eardrums. Yeah, man. Dallas, Texas in the building. It's going down, Just for the baby. record, I hate the motherfucking Cowboys. Let's just start this shit off. You going to start it off right. Eagles, you know baby. I hate the motherfuckers. Fly, man. Eagles, fly. Fly, fly you know, You know the motherfuckers going to get buried playing us. Fly, Eagles, fly. You know the motherfucking routine. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. Who we got here, man? We got we got yellow in there. We got yellow in there? Yellow Beezy, baby. You did. Uh, I mean, that's what you know he meant. But back to the Cowboys and the Eagles shit, like... <clears throat> No, he knew he is yellow bees. If y'all wanna, if y'all wanna bet some, you already know, Gilly. You know we locked in. Yeah, yeah. You always, you always think the best that be on the upper hand for you. Now the Cowboys got that fucking white boy quarterback. What's his name? Cody Co Co Cooper. Uh, Cooper Rush. Oh, yeah. Cooper Rush. Cause Cooper ain't gonna see this motherfucker rush nah, from this motherfucker. But, but, but <laughs> he ain't we gonna see this shit when coming. We play y'all. That could be bad. Oh, no, we, we definitely bad. You think I'm waiting for Dak to come back? No, no, no. I'm saying you when we play y'all, Dak will be back. No, he won't. Yes, he will. They he, say Dak fuck around be here next week. Not the game. Might may be the game coming up. Let me just let me just say this, man. Do you know how hard it is to play quarterback in the NFL with a tender thumb? You ever had a TT? <laughs> <laughs> you ever had a tender thumb? You do a grown ass men, three hundred pounds, hey, man. run four point eight seconds in the forty, and they tackling you, and you don't even see them niggas coming, and you got a TT. Do you know, do you know how hard that is to play with a tender thumb? We gonna Cooper Rush do it. Shit, get it done on y'all anyway. All right, well, what's up though, man? You in the building, man? Yeah. You know what I mean? I got my nigga, little yellow from Oak Cliff here. You dig? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You dig? 
You used to hang with the motherfucking get rich click. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. 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 You. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. Right. You know, yellow, yellow motherfucking trapping designer. You yeah. know what I mean? That's, yeah, the, that's the yellow I know. Yeah, you did. Used to love motherfucking chicken from Rudy's. <laughs> <laughs> For sure We still gonna eat some Rudy's <laughs> Off muscle Off the muscle You still mm-hmm. fucking with that Rudy's huh? I'm Off the muscle uh, I'm gonna put this out there Before we even get started <sighs> There's only one bet That me and you bet What's that? And you ain't gonna bet me When I'm betting What's that? I mean I'm betting like a 20 ball too When it's time mm. that's, that's that's pocket chain but No you know that's my, that's my little boy Lunch money Yeah well mm. We could bet whatever We could bet a hundred then Cause I'm betting anything On boots <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You every time I mention his name, you get scared. Listen, all I'm saying is, why, why you, you get scared? Feel, I, all, every time I mention Boots' name, check it out. It ain't none of that shit that he be check bringing with out. the Cowboys. Check, 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 check it out. When check I mention Boots and Philly, it out. I wore this because I knew these niggas gonna ask this, just say some shit like I knew Wallow was gonna say some shit like that. that what that say? Man down. Don't worry about none of that. Shout out to Boots. I fuck with you, bro. I promise you, I fuck with you. He why, listen. He called I me and Gil one time. He said, he said, who? I had to go watch his shit. That boy dangerous. Yeah, he hard. He dangerous. Yeah. The upcoming niggas, Boots, for sure. And Frank, for sure. You know, it's a big fish in there. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this question. It's a big fish in that water. You know what I'm saying? You know, just... I'm just saying. I mean, we fuck fuck with Errol. You know, that's my my guy, too, you know. For sure. You know. But we gotta back our Philly guy. That's my yeah, I knew for him sure. since no, he was no, a young kid. No, no, we not backing him because he's from no, Philly. No, no, no. He we backing him because he's, he's great. a fucking monster. He's, for yeah, sure. no, but he's from Philadelphia too. Yeah. If he was a bum from Philly, I, I wouldn't be just throwing my motherfucking <laughs> reputation out there like that. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> you talk about? Yeah, fuck. Nah, for sure. He I got ain't. up next for sure. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now today we going to do a little something different. New Amsterdam Vodka is introducing Wild Card. You hear me? Look at that. Eight ounce can, the first canned beverage that New Amsterdam Vodka has ever distributed. It's right here, Wild Card, and it's made with real vodka. We're not playing no games, okay? There's not no artificial shit going on. No, this is made with real vodka, and it come in three flavors. Original hard lemonade, classic hard punch, and this right here, lemon hard tea. Yeah, look at it. Eight ounces. Look at it. Real vodka. Look at it. Wild card. When you out and about, wherever you at at your local liquor store or wherever they sell New Amsterdam vodka, make sure you pick you up some. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Try all three flavors. Give all three flavors a try. Figure out which one you like the best. This right here is the lemon hard tea. I think I'm about to crack this open and see what it's about. All right. Now, we know we at we we real boxing fans. Errol Spence is about to fight Terence Crawford. All right. How confident are you in your guy? I bet they have some. Why? I just know my nigga. I just know like he just he just that nigga. Like you just know like when you got confidence, you ain't got no type of. Disbelief or doubts That's what type of situation This here with me Oh okay Like I know I'm going I'm I'm not We ain't taking no L's He gonna However they feel like They wanna Address it You think he can't do this He gonna do it Think he can't box He gonna show you gonna box He ain't got technique or strategy He gonna show you got all that Whatever you feel Whatever they try to say He don't got Or he lacking in He gonna show you that It's that he, well, now you seeing a lot of people coming out now that the fight is official. You see a lot of people coming out, and it's a lot like a lot of professional boxers, and a lot of them are picking Terrence Crawford. Me personally, I'm a fan of Bud. I'm a fan of Errol Spence. Me personally, I give the the edge to Errol Spence. Me personally, a lot of times your predictions don't be right. I mean, a lot of times, shit, not too many. A lot of your boxing you joints, about, you always... No, 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 no. I should, boxing joints always be right. Fuck, as you talk about, unless I'm going with one of my motherfucking homies that I, you know, my heart was in it, and they might have lost, you know what I mean? I done lost a couple of them joints. I done lost a couple home joints riding with the Sixers because that's my home team. Really don't know they ain't the better team. But sometimes your heart be in it. But my predictions, a lot of times, be on point. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you why I give Errol Spence the advantage. I seen Bud hurt a few times. All right. I never seen Errol Spence hurt. All right. I seen Bud's I seen Bud rocked by 130 pound five pound Yorkis Gamboa. You feel what I'm saying? And right. I, I had never uh you know seen that in Errol Spence. Errol Spence is the naturally big guy, right? Mm-hmm. So he didn't come up from 135. He always been fighting at 147. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's why I give Errol Spence the advantage because he's the natural heavier guy. I think these skills is pretty he, much he, equal. He, he's a bruiser, bro. Right. Like he fuck, he break people's body. Right. You see how hard he punch? Yeah, he absolutely. He's going to go at it. And he go, like, what, like I say, like, however people want to try to play it, you know, shout out to Bud. I, I I don't feel like it's no chump fight. I don't feel like he no chump. He he really he liked that too. Like if he wasn't, you won't be seeing all these people trying to you know what I'm saying rock with him. But you know when you at the top so long, they want to see you fail. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Man. But did you get it? Yeah, I got it. That nigga's a hard sure? body. Yeah, it's harder than that net we trying to catch. Wait, you feel me? Right. Yo, get the fuck off me, man. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's right there. I got it. Get me and my biscuit like that. <laughs> this is done. I got, I got it. Uh, fucking nut. Oh, all right, I got nah, it, man. Nah. Stop. You're playing too much. Don't, 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 you right, fucking biscuit on. <laughs> you're playing too much. I got it. That was the got me. I had to get you back, man. Fuck, man. You fucked my joint up. Yeah, but man, shout out to Errol Spencer and Bud Crawford, man. Both of them, you know, they doing, they think it's going to be a hell of a fight. I think it's sometime in November. You know the official date? Nah, I mean, they saying the 19th, but I don't know. All right. Yeah. So, you got you got some music, man. Yeah. You got some music out. What was your What was your thought process when you was making this music right here, when you was making this album? Uh, Basically, just talk my shit. Like, nigga, people just want to hear you talk that shit. That's it. It ain't just really no hard thing to do. Talk your shit. Talk about what you see. Talk about what you know. Talk about what you've been going through. That's what they want to know. Absolutely. Yeah. You think you, you think you you are you top five and popping that shit? I'm gonna talk my shit for sure. Absolutely. Pimp, Pimp, one of my favorite rappers, if not my favorite. So that's how he did talk his shit. So I, I, that's that's all I know what to do. Who was your influences growing up coming out of Dallas, Texas, man? Like Dallas rappers or just period. I mean, who was your influences? It don't matter oh, like, if it was Dallas. UGK, No Limit, Cash Money. Um, I fuck with Easy real hard too. Um, shit, Juvenile. Like it was shit like that. Scarface. Right. Yeah, that's what I was rocking with hard. Right. Do it was a. Uh, you came right out the gate, right? You was on Hit Co. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you had a hit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh. A lot of you, 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 it was moving around, but you know, as we talked about, you ain't get a lot of position playlists and all that right. type of shit. Right. What what happened with that? I I feel like I honestly, me honestly, I feel like they had L.A. Reid like just blackballed. And why? Just some personal shit, whatever the industry had going with him, and I guess old you know faces, whatever it is, like they had something against him, and I, and it made a lot of his. Art like him his art his artist, you know what I'm saying? Like even when nigga I was dropping that's on me, had the back at it again, had the Chris Brown shit, had the other one, little baby. All that shit was streaming like going crazy. Like we ain't get none of like the rap caviars or the top playlists like that. You get what I'm saying? There's no way we got these big names on her and these numbers is bagging it up. You get what right. I'm saying? I know for a fact, like nigga, I'm going crazy. It's, it's no way we we shouldn't get the support. And it was just like a lot of shit behind closed doors. Like, if it was him, he would have he would have carried this until he couldn't no more. Like that nigga there, like he had his ways, and you know we had our back and forth. But at the end of the day, he wanted our lust to win. Like I couldn't. It ain't too much bad I can say about the man. Like just right. honestly, right? If I felt like I just told him, like I used to tell him, like bro, you probably just need to merge with a, you know what I'm saying, with a with a label, cause. We got the money like a major, but we it's an independent label. You know what I'm saying? It's his, it's his own label. They not trying to let you do that. They not trying to let you break through and 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 do and just go crazy like that. Like even the other niggas that's popping with that's that's in the industry right now. Like they they merge with somebody. You get right. what I'm saying? Right. L.A. want to do it like L.A., which is nothing wrong with that. But these folks weren't trying to let that man do his thing. That's all it was. 
I mean, because L.A. was at a point in time in his life, probably, where he, like, I know all the tricks and trades. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like this. Okay, you are independent. You trying to go to radio. It's a little harder going to radio as an independent when you ain't got that machine stamping you. See, nah, it, he can go to the radio. The radio want the problem. It was the like the playlist and the internet yeah, yeah, play and okay, all the yeah. other shit. Like yeah. he'll go, he gonna go drop that bag on that radio play. But like, you don't think radio is bigger than streams? No, can radio. Make you bigger? No, radio is going is going It is good. Don't get me wrong. Like you need radio, like a motherfucker. But we in a streaming world where you got to do other than radio. You got to do more than just radio. You got to take these sites. You got to be on these playlists and you got to be all across the internet. You get what I'm saying? Like right. the internet play a major part in what's going on right now. A lot of people listen to the radio. Don't get, get, get it wrong. But like how it was back in the day, motherfuckers just ain't getting in the car listening to the radio. Like no, that. but I feel like the radio make you is what make you a superstar. Yeah, for sure. You feel sure. what I'm saying? When your shit sure. playing a, a certain amount of thousands of times for around sure. the country... Along with the streaming, for sure. along with the, the videos, doing numbers, you feel what I'm saying? Because, like, as when you going, when you operating as an independent, you can get the, I want to get that motherfucker so bad. If you did not get that motherfucker, you can get the same shit that, you know, the majors get, but it's only a certain amount of slots. At this shit, it just, it you, just you feel certain, what I'm saying? It, yeah, it's certain shit that you. I get what you're saying. It's certain shit that a major can offer you, you gonna get versus you being with an independent. Basically. Right, right, That's, yeah. Exactly. So, so yeah, you can go spend your money, exactly. But you gonna get exactly what, what you, you spend. Paid for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You feel but, what I'm exactly. saying? Whereas though, when you got that record label behind you and they gotta service this same certain radio shit station, you ain't gotta touch and with talk about all the hits and the, you feel what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's all a revolving door. We need the hits from the radio stations. A lot of the DJs want to be the first ones in that city and that state to play the shit for to sure. take ownership. They broke the record. You feel what I'm saying? And so, then it's gonna be one of the situations where that's what they want you to put out because they know that's what's was what was was gonna keep they money maker going. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they gonna want you to with the polished old records for the radio because that's how they know like like you said, it's only certain shit that the money gonna get you. You know right. what I'm saying? We know like these radio songs, that's what's gonna keep the shit going. You know what I'm right. saying? So that's what this what type it's gonna turn to like, hey man, we need you to keep making these type songs versus right. the shit that's that you that that you came up making. You get what I'm saying? And even with the rap caviars and all that most of the joints, I'm pretty sure that be on there, be from the record labels, right? Yeah, for sure. So when you are independent and you dealing with that and, oh, we got a certain amount of slots on this shit that we putting out. That's the downside okay. of that independent shit right. they don't talk about. Right, is we going to sure. take the independent artists or is they sit here keep telling us at this record label that they trying to push this artist now. If we don't put this artist on there. We going to get the big shit. And... and we gonna spend that bigger bag with y'all. Yeah. We gonna make sure it's gonna be a favor with favor shit. We gonna continue to rub each other hands for sure. Absolutely. Like, yeah. It's with for with sure. an independent nigga, you don't know if he gonna be ahead of the day going tomorrow, nigga. But Universal, Atlantic, uh, uh, all these motherfuckers gonna be around. That for money that. ain't gonna stop. Right. Let you me ask you a saying? question though. How much money you think it took to get your shit ahead? What when I came to LA, my shit was already gone. I'm talking about like they get it going more. Did they put? Did they throw some they, fire yeah, on that they, motherfucker? They threw some more fire when they went to radio with it. And how much? I, I I know for a fact. I know he gonna drive by two fifty for sure. Out out muscle for the radio. Two fifty to three for sure with him. He don't give a fuck. He gonna he love the radio. He gonna spend some money on the radio. But but this 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 is my whole thing. I'm asking you that because a lot of artists uh they talking about doing independent. They talking about doing certain shit. A lot of people they don't understand that even artists is popping. Got to put some, you know, throw some gasoline on that fire. That yeah, Got to throw money sure. at this shit. Hell yeah. Everything, really to, really everything go to just next ain't going to be no instant hit at all. Like, everybody, people blessed to have some hits, instant hits. But a lot of that shit, even with the biggest name artists you can name, like, every song that they get, that, that they put out, ain't no hit. They, they, they drive it to make it a hit. Like, mm -hmm. they going to put that bad. They going to make you hear this motherfucker from commercial to radio to wherever they gonna push the shit in your face as much as they can. Right. Like a lot of that shit, they you know that money. They gonna dry that shit up so you can hear it the most. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Everything ain't no instant hit. So that's the downside of the independent blast. Like, you're going to have to put that money in that shit for sure. Right. You're going to have to work hard. If you ain't got that work ethic, you, your ass might just need to sign with a and, and ain't nothing wrong with a label. It's just about how you structure your deal. Right. And you still got to do your shit. Don't think the label just going to do everything for you, bro. You still got to hustle as if you independent. That's right. just with anything. Let me ask you a question. Over one of your hit songs, Ballpark figure, how much did you wake off, make off one hit song? I'm talking about that publishing bag, that show bag, all of that. Off of one song, if it's a hit, you know, because I want the audience to know I that. I ain't going to lie, bro. You want one song, one song will put you on the road for two to three years. You're going to make millions but, off but, but that Give one me a number. Give me a number around Ballpark number. Off a real hit, bro? If your shit's the right way, bro, you shouldn't make nothing less than about six. Six M's. For sure. That's just for, like, you gonna, you got to understand how much niggas getting for verses to do the video for your shows. Your shows and your hosting is different. Your guest appearance, like you say, we was, and we was in the car. Nigga want you to pop up and do a uh, goddamn uh, shoe, uh, shoe spots, little, little, uh, Show your face at they little shoe spots or motherfucker wants you to shout out they business or they weed brands or clothing brands. Right. Bro, niggas bring that bag in. Then a lot of that shit just be... Hold up. Hey, Sim. A Gil was just showing... Wasn't you just showing how you cooked him, Gil? Yeah, he talked. He was just showing Yellow Beezy how he cooked you. I know. I just talked to Beezy, man. Tell Gil he got to start putting me on Mac Blast, man. Oh, man. He just wanted to see some basketball shit. I didn't even know that y'all had a relationship like that. You know, get two shits, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but... I was, I was going to tell you, I'm going to be out there tomorrow. All right, bet. Hit me up. As soon as All you right, pull up. Get All right, bet. All right. Yeah. So, so, about six. Six M's. For sure. You're going to probably make more than that if you do it right, bro. Depending on what you set your show prices at and all that, all that shit pay up. What's the most you ever got paid for a show? Like 70. Damn, 60, that ain't 70. bad. That ain't bad. 60, what, 67, something shit like, yeah. Damn, Damn, that's a nice. That's a nice bag to be picking up. Yeah, for sure. That bag in, ah. That shit nice, too. <laughs> <laughs> that shit feels good. <laughs> shit feels good. So, who you got on this album? This album, I ain't gonna just tell you a lot. Um, I know we're gonna... Know you got ESTG. You got ESTG. I already dropped the one so they know about Wayne. I accidentally said that on accident. Um... I don't want to just say too much. There's going to be some motherfuckers, though. Yeah. There's going to be some motherfuckers. Yeah. going to be some motherfuckers. Yeah. I, I, I might fuck around and pull an a old ghillie on that motherfucker. No, don't put that bum on there. <laughs> yeah, fuck your old joint. Don't fuck your tape up. <laughs> bum ass nigga in your tape. Fuck your tape. Shit, I, go, I go on there barbecue baking. Yeah, you know I mean, he won't be yellow no more. He be dark skin. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> he be dark skin busy when I get that bacon, he whatever. Damn, nigga, I'm trying to take it on the motherfucker. You don't win against. <laughs> no, Wallow. but what I'm saying is, it's well, still got to be a competition. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can't just come on in and just let you just do me any kind of way. For sure. Yeah, We're going to remix that. Uh, you're not a pimp. What's the, what's the one that I was talking about earlier? You're not, not a pimp. pimp. Yeah. Uh, he, you gonna he remix definitely that wasn't out. no pimp. He ain't know what real pimp it was. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep it all real. He was a real pimp because he was pimping in prison. Shut the fuck up. He was BIP. <laughs> that ass nigga. But no, so so no, you know what it is, the game. I'm you know, a lot of people out here, you got everybody doing music these days. Everybody's a rapper. Mm-hmm. A lot of times people don't know how to go about this shit. They just think, damn, I'm gonna put my stuff out. Somebody gonna sign me or whatever gonna happen. They don't understand sometimes it's a bag involved in this shit to get this shit moving. Yeah, for sure. On the marketing side of things. Yeah, yeah. Once you once once if you stay independent. Once that first hit starting to sizzle down, you got to come back with something else. And if you ain't signed with nobody, you gonna have to keep on go back to the radio. You gonna have to promote that motherfucker, all this type of shit. You gonna have to spend money. So if that's not what you into, then you know it's nothing wrong with signing with a label. Absolutely. If you could have done it different, would you have signed with a major? Yeah. Uh, it mean you know it be times where a nigga feel like that, but in the day, like. I made the right choice for a reason. You know what I'm saying? That was a, I look at it like everything happened for a reason. I mean, I and it changed your life. Huh? It changed your life. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. I mean, who's to say if you would have went to a label, it would have been the same thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
And, uh, you know, I called you, nigga, and you live next to the Dallas Cowboys, so you picked the right motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you? Uh, nigga said, no, such and such live right there, Gilly. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, and Dak Prescott is right there. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> like, nigga, live next to the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, nigga, you live in, live in. Oh, no, no, we living, living good. But, we living but, good. Well, 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 where did the space come at from you dropping these songs, dropping these hits, doing your thing? And you took some time off. Really? Okay. So this is what it was. I was already kind of like frustrated over there a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, a lot of shit that they had going on, it was hindering the artist. So I'm in some shit like, man, this shit, this song supposed to be bigger than like this. It's like, we supposed to be getting this. We supposed to be woo, 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 woo. And it's like some shit was kind of like fumbling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I was at the the point where I'm like, all right, bro, I'm kind of ready to separate myself from this situation and get into something different. Boom. That's when the pandemic hit. So now, I'm okay, this is the perfect time. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like we put out, try to put out some records. They didn't, they weren't doing it. Like they still weren't getting the play. They still weren't, it just kept, it was like the same cycle and shit. I'm like, bro, I'm not finna continue with the same cycle. Again, if bro... Could have done it. He would have done it. He would have done it. He would have done it. He was trying to do it. He was trying to do it. Then, you know, a couple of shit that was going on in the office that was, you know, all that shit playing the post. So I was like, I bet uh, I kind of want to just, like, go my separate ways with it. Like, so that paperwork took a long ass time. At first, he didn't want to let me go. You know what I'm saying? Because we got, it's like a different relationship. It ain't, it ain't no shit where it was like some, oh, fuck them niggas and blase this blase. I can call that man right now. And if what? I need something, he'll, hey, woo, woo. Right. Vice versa It ain't nothing like that I can call a nigga right now It ain't never been no problem No pressure on no end like that right. So I, It was one of them tug of wars Like man Well let's let, let me just try one more time Or let's 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 do this Woo woo Okay bro I do do this game Boom Try it again It still ain't like how I want it bro uh, How I need it So then it came well, Okay bro Let's just Let's separate Woo woo let's, We'll do it like this that paperwork took so long to get up out of. You got to go back and you got to do. It's a whole bunch of shit you got to do to get out the paperwork. Mm-hmm. So boom, we finally do that. Now the paperwork to get him a new situation. That shit take a long ass time. Then you got to think about it. The offices weren't open like that during right. the pandemic. So right. a lot of shit. It was like a long mm-hmm. process doing because of different areas that need to be called to different people. They weren't available. They weren't working. They, they couldn't do this or do that because shit was shut down. Right. So when, when that shit just, it was, that's when it kind of like, it was like a little feels like a nigga had stepped back, but it wasn't like I wasn't recording music or was it wasn't because the music wasn't there. It was like the business trying to get right. out of the situation to get in another situation. Because right. as soon as I got out of the situation, I had a situation like multiple people that, that right then and there. You right. know what I'm saying? That wasn't never the problem. Right. I'm talking about literally like the if the next week, if that paperwork would have been done, I would have been in another situation. Right. That ain't that was never the problem. It was just a process of that. that okay. Was it. So was it how long did it take from after you got out the situation to get in a new situation? Man, we probably started talking about we probably started the little distant shit, probably like the end of 2020. 2021 is when we really started, okay, let's start separating ourselves, getting into negotiation, and get this shit done, what we got to do to get up out, to get the release and shit. Yeah. That shit took until damn near, what, by, s- yeah, by August, se- August or September? Yeah. I was in September of 21, and then I got in my new situation around that time. So some shit like that. And who like, you with now? Uh, Asylum. Okay, cool. Yeah, Asylum. Yeah. With Dallas okay. Martin over there. Shout out to Dallas. Yeah. So shit, that, it, that shit just took a long period of time. I ain't gonna lie. Going back and forth with lawyers, going just like trying to chase people down on shit that should have been signed off on. It, it was a whole process, bro. That shit was okay, long. so now that you've seen the highs of this shit, Mm-hmm. You seen the lows of this shit. Right. But now you got traded. Right. You on a new team. Right. You happy. Right. Is it like, oh, I'm about to go stupid. Yeah. It just, bro, like when you really got the talent for that shit and you know what you got in your folder and your catalog, that's all, that's all about just putting that shit out and putting it out the right way. I just been holding on to shit. 
Yeah. It's been shit that I've been needing to get out of my chest that I've been wanting people to hear for so long. It's like, it's, it's, it's one of them games, like, don't rush it. Be patient. You, 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 you want to rush it because you want to let motherfuckers know, nigga, ain't nothing going on. Like, this shit really still going crazy right. for me. I got this shit. Ain't, ain't none of that shit. Ain't no falling off or nothing. Nigga fell back. That's right. it. You get what I'm saying? Right. I had to get some shit right. You want niggas, but you want to want them to see it in the right way. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's just about being, how you say it? Uh, I, you know, I'm country a bit. Strategic. Yeah. yeah. And strategizing that shit out right so I can just lay out right. That's it. That's what's up. Now, what what's the like? What type of deal you got with Asylum? You is it? It's like you signed to them. You independent. They do distribution. Yeah, see, I ain't gonna lie. Just like it's just like Hitco. Like it's an independent label that's got the funding as as a major. Oh. But now I think I just got word. I think we finna merge. We merging with Atlantic or some shit. So oh, I think okay. it's gonna be some whole other shit like. Okay. I kind of like them deal structures better because it's just the deal structure. Yeah. But if you got a team, once you get that team with that shit, you got the right team that know how to blend that shit in, you'll be all right. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Owens Mixers. Now, Owen Craft Mixers gives anybody the ability to make high-quality cocktails right at home. I'm talking about high-quality pups. You don't got to play around. You don't got to learn how to make it. Owens Mixers helps you. is that easy. Owens is the perfect for anyone who enjoys bar-style cocktails but don't have a clue about how to make them from scratch. Now, all you got to do is just add Owens. It's that easy. Just add Owens. You literally just pour your favorite liquor over ice, then just add Owens. It's that easy, man. And you're good to go. Owens mixes pairs perfectly to create the best margaritas, best. transfusions, cranberries, blasts, and more. So go to owensmixers.com and check the store located to find a store that has Owens near you. If you don't feel like getting off your couch... Order on Amazon or get it delivered less than 30 minutes on GoPuff. Owens Mixers. Right. Owen. What, you want to talk well, about? Well, you know, you had a couple situations. You had a situation, you know, uh, was all in the headlines. You know, mm -hmm. nobody never heard your side of the story. Like, uh, you, you know, you want to you want to speak on that? Yeah, just shit. Basically, I guess it was a motherfucker trying to get some money with, with me. Baby, you had to go with your move. I ain't the nigga to be blackballed. You got the wrong guy for it. Like, I don't give a damn. That's that show. It don't show like some niggas do it. It's not showing that you guilty. Some people just don't want to deal with the hassle of the process. But I ain't finna let you bag me in the corner to try to get get me out of any type of paper. Like you don't have to go with your move. And I guess you know, like as as I was going through that shit, I was already going through some old legal shit. Like just. Getting caught up with guns and all this, just the, the uh, uh, what you want to call that, the wrongful uh, arrest and all that shit. So, basically, basically, I had went, I had, rewind this, I went to jail for some hand sanitizer. You, do you remember that story? Yeah. The girl that she had the, uh, she had some hand sanitizer as a prop in one of my videos, but she was really sitting as hand sanitizer. So I went to jail for that one day when I got pulled over and goddamn, I was telling like the the, the police department, like, hey bro, um y'all gonna be y'all gonna be embarrassed when y'all find out that like this. Oh, is break it down, hand sanitizer. Break this shit down so they can understand what you're saying. Like this, like I guess, like in the pandemic, you know how people were selling. They were like just trying to make money off all types. They were selling like face masks, hand sanitizer, uh, all type of shit. They were just getting creative. You know, right. it, it's like when you got a brand, you got to try to outthink the next person. So people, right. people buy shit that they kind of like. I guess like amaze them or just like a wow, something to stick out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So one thing that I seen, I seen girls selling eyelashes in like pill bottles. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was her. Idea to do this with the hand sanitizer, but she had hand sanitizer like in a, but it was in a form of a shape. I mean, in a form of a uh, drink bottle, like the codeine and shit. So, but it said for mentazine with hand sanitizer on the label, but it's like in this end, it was purple. She had like the coloring, like it was purple, but she was selling it like just on some hand sanitizer shit. She had just 
did a video with me and gave it to me. And I had already, I said, boy, nigga, get caught. This shit, nigga, gonna go to jail. Just like playing, because I already know, like, you know, that shit big in Texas. So I end up getting pulled over. And uh, cops see it inside my car or whatnot. Like, when I had, because uh, they, I got a bulletproof truck. was one of my everyday cars. So the windows don't let down. So they acting like they just so scared. Like, they don't know who in the car. Or I'm like, like, can they open the door just to make sure ain't nobody um, in there? It's in there with. I'm like, all right, shit, that's cool. So I wrote, I'm telling him my, my, my window don't roll all the way down because it's bulletproof. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling him, he see the little bottle. He was like, what is this? I said, it's hand sanitizer. So he look at, he said, it's, you sure it's like cow syrup? I said, no, it's hand sanitizer. I said, it's a prop. I just did a video. The girl gave it to him. It's hand sanitizer. I said, you can put it in your hand, rub it around, smell it, all that shit. You can whiff it. Like, you can tell you, like, hand sanitizer smell like hand sanitizer. You're going to smell the alcohol. You're going to see that shit. Drink is thick and, and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and uh, sticky. This shit, you can pour in your hand and see that it's jelly. You, you know the difference between this. They just want to be some asshole, bro. So he acting like he couldn't test it right then. And I said, bro, just whiff it. Just put it on your hand like anything. Random folk took me to jail, bro, for a, a it was a, what they call it, a, a, a unid, was it unidentified felon or some shit like that. It was some felony. St- yeah, some stupid shit. Like, they don't know what to charge me with, but it's going to be a felony. Some stupid shit. So, the same county that this happened in, the girl made the allegation in. She don't know, like, and I told her when I went to jail, like, it was going to be hand sanitizer. Everybody going to be laughing at y'all department. Like, y'all, like, they, we tried to goddamn bring, like, other boxes down and show them that it's hand sanitizer. Right. So, at this point, when they take me to jail and they see and I get out and explain myself and they go viral, they looking stupid now because they going to have, they finna drop the case like some months down the later, some months down the line, they, they test and they, sh- and they show that it wasn't no, no lean and shit. So, my lawyer in the, is in contact with these people the whole time. They didn't even, they didn't even like tell my lawyer about this allegation. So this is my first time ever going through some shit like this. So they said, I guess when you go through shit like this, if it's an allegation, they're supposed to call you down to the um to the precinct or whatever, get your side of the story, and if it's further, you know, you get the the kiss and uh, the DNA, all that type what? shit. So when she makes this allegation, she already don't know that the, the, the law is really already mad at me out there. So instead of them telling my lawyer that it's an allegation, they let this shit turn to a warrant to try to make this shit a warrant so they can come clamp down on me and try to catch me in the act of doing something because they embarrassed that they arrested me for some fucking hand sanitizer and right. they got to goddamn drop the charges and they looking crazy. She don't know this shit going down. And I like this shit went on for like seven months that I didn't know about. Mm-hmm. So they come motherfucking. I'm on my way to go uh pick up my little boy so we can go get haircuts and shit. So um I had already just felt like, you know how you just have a feeling like it just something wrong that you don't know? Like, and I'm when when I when I go through shit like that, like I'm in the feeling, my granddad was telling me just pray about it. Pray about it, just pray about her. So I ain't really just too much bothered by it. So I just like feel like something wrong like that day. Like I can eat like, and it go back to like a couple of days before that. Nigga, I thought my girl put a, a private investigator on me or something. I just kept seeing seeing the same car. And I was like, hey man, if you got somebody following me or y'all find you better let me know now because I'm finna jump out of the car. I'm finna shoot this bitch up. Mm-hmm. I'm knowing like I like I'm one of them niggas who I, I pay attention to all my surroundings. It was like I got shot so. Nigga, I move in all type of different ways. You get what I'm saying? So I'm paying attention to everything. Like, I'm seeing, like, the same type of cars following me from different spots. Like, I'm, I'm just knowing, like, shit just off. So that morning, like I said, I'm already, like, feeling, like, off. I get up. I go put on my clothes. I'm finna uh, go pick up my little boy. I come up out where I'm staying at, where I live at, and, like, this car, like, this red car kind of, like, dip in front of me. And he like driving like real slow, like a style game. I'm like, man, what the fuck this dude driving real slow for? So he's driving like so slow that it's like, you, it's like, bro, you going two miles per hour. Like, is your car fucking up or you playing some style game? Going back, like me just thinking shit like last time a nigga did me like that when nigga trying to play style game, that shit, that's when I got shot. So I'm like, you know how you just overthink it, but you just like, you are aware on shit. So I'm like, this nigga playing a style game. 
So I kind of like it, it get to where the road open up now, so I can go around. So I drive fast. Whole time it's the it's the laws. You know what I'm saying? When I when I go into the daycare, then unmarked cars. I'm going to the daycare to get my little boy. I'm walking out. I see like that red car come around just a little bit. I kind of spot, but I see some other cars like just trying to come around, and I'm looking. I'm like, man, I don't know. So I'm already clutching, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm already clutching. So when I'm walking out, I got down. I see like the laws come from one side of the um car and the other side. So what made me then grab, bro, and I told them that because I seen that they were white. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If they were black, it would probably have been different because like niggas in Dallas scandalous, bro. Like these niggas break into fucking houses and 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 the. Uh, Run across a police shit and, and have a police jacket or act like they the police to rob you. Right. Like they do that type of game. Like right. have a whole police badge and everything. Right. Absolutely. Like they do that type of shit in Dallas. So at first I'm I'm clutch, I'm like, I know the niggas ain't stupid enough to try to rob me or try to get down on me and my and my kid daycare, but then I seen that they white, I kinda like eased out. So I had my little boy in front of him, so I like got down, I'm like, hey man, I got a gun type shit. So they get all type of aggressive and shit, trying to act like um like, I put them in danger. Like, they, uh, I shouldn't have told, tell me I should have let them grab it off me. Nigga, I'm not gonna let y'all grab no gun off me. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Two Loss. Manage your music business all in one place with Two Loss. Two Loss is a worldwide music distribution for independent artists and labels that's made very easy. Two Loss offers unparalleled control over your music catalog. With Two Loss, you can release your music to all major platforms as often as you want, whenever you want. Two Loss also makes collaborations easy. You can seamlessly add payment splits for each release and automatically pay your team and collaborators. Monetize your music in over 250 plus stores and services. Every week, Two Loss will be given $100 cash to five random new artists who sign up with the link in the YouTube description. Take control over your music at twoloss.com. You hear me? Take control of your music right now at twoloss.com. You gonna soar up and down. I tried to fight you in all type of way. I ain't, nigga, how many people done got killed by these loud playing crazy like that? Nah, I'm gonna give y'all the gun for the show y'all that I'm, I'm, and I'm not pointed at y'all. I'm pointed down at the ground. So I get to the jail. I'm, they ain't not even telling me what, what, like, what I'm, what's going on or like what I'm arrested for, like what I'm getting arrested for. Because your guns is legal. Right. Everything legal, so I'm I'm in the prayer. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, I'm asking him, like, what am what am I going to jail for? I, I don't know right now. They'll talk to me and get down there. So what happened to your son? They kept my son inside the daycare and they called his mama. So, I, I, the daycare people knew enough to do that type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I get to the jail. I'm waiting, bro. It's down there like an hour or two. I'm waiting. They finally say that uh, people ready to talk to you. So, I'm asking for. I say, man. Do y'all know why I'm in here for? Somebody said something like, I don't know, that I think it's something about like a sexual assault or something. I was like, I started laughing that I was like, who? I said, man, you got me fucked up. I swear to God, I told him just like that. I get down to the what you call, to the um to, what the detective at. She say a bitch made an allegation, said I raped her and some more shit. I was like, who? I'm looking at her like, who you talking me? Like Man, you stop playing with me. Like, I ain't never in my life. I can get pussy quick and I can get water. Right. This shit comes <laughs> easy. Like, not trying to be funny, baby. You know who my daddy is. Like, I ain't never in my life. Like, y'all really offending me right now. Man, when you from the hood, bro, where you from, bro? Like, in our community, bro, it's four, it's four things you don't want on your back. It's a snitch. Right. A pedophile. Right. A rapist. Right. And uh, uh uh and a motherfucking uh what you call that shit uh nah ain't no cracky dumbass <laughs> <laughs> nah it ain't that you don't want to be labeled as uh, have a snitch on your back a, a rapist or a child pedophile that's I'm gonna just say three I forgot the other one shit but I know like I ain't now one of them right. so when she tell me this she was like I'm like who who you talking about she tried to uh so she some send me the the um. Like, show me the picture. I'm like, the fuck? I, what the what the fuck this going on? Man, I don't know. I honestly can't even tell you, like, where the shit came from, bro. Like, honestly, God, truth. 
But I'm in that motherfucker, so now I told them they try to ask me about like what the situation was. And I was like, man, shit, ain't nothing like ain't nothing like that happened. I don't even know what you want me to tell you, type shit. So they getting mad because I don't want to talk. Like, bro, I, I don't want to talk. I talk to my lawyer or not. So that's when he come in. He say, um, you put us in danger, your child in danger. Time he was fi- he was finna try to charge me with aggravated assault. Yeah. But instead, they're going to just charge me with child endangerment. I'm like, what you mean, child endangerment? Nigga told me when I pulled out, when I gave him the gun, bro, nigga told me I pulled my, the, the gun in my son's head. Mm. I pointed the gun in my son's head. So now, I, I ain't going to lie, that shit, daddy, broke me down. I damn start like don't play with me, bro. Like my son look at me like I'm a hero, bro. I don't even play like I'm gonna put my son in any type of harm, any type of way. Why the fuck would I point a gun at my son's head? Y'all playing with me now. Then they put CPS in my life. I got out of jail, burned out, like the next day, cause they had to transfer me or whatever. I had to put on a monitor. Put on a monitor, they told me I couldn't even go to my house. Told me I couldn't even talk to my son for 60 some days. Damn. I'm like, over this, I'm like, this bitch don't like, she playing with my life, y'all playing right now. So, we get the lawyer, tell them what's going down. They had to, they swallowed me down while I was in the jail or whatnot. So, I'm, I'm already like in a dark spot in my life. Like, this is the darkest place I ever been. For one, I ain't never had to do no shit like this. And you playing now, you got my kids involved. You know what I'm saying? You got CPS and this shit. Made it to where I couldn't even have no contact with my kids and shit. So I'm, I'm like kind of like fucked up. So I get the lawyer involved and shit. So he asked me to run down on what's going on. I tell him, man, y'all can get the rape kit test. You can do all what y'all want to do. Promise you, it ain't going to have nothing on yellow. They prolonged with that shit. They was trying to, the thing, the police had already had an agenda. So they trying to keep this monitor on my leg so I can't have no guns or do nothing. So... They can try to catch me in the act or something just so they can have something to stick on me because they keep shooting at a nigga and there's nothing coming back. Fast forward, get the lawyer, DNA test come back, rape, t- uh, uh, rape test come back. No, nah, nothing. DNA shit come back to swabs. She had two to three unidentified DNAs in her pussy. It wasn't mine. She had one or two unidentified, uh, I think one or two unidentified DNAs in her mouth. It wasn't mine. Then they caught this bitch up in all type of, uh, every lie that she told, every lie that she told, they just caught her up in. You get what I'm saying? Like, she, they asked her, they, first they, they had asked her how many, uh, when the last time she had sex. She said she hadn't had sex in a year. That was, that was one of the first lies she had they caught in. Then when they come back with the DNA test, they were like, hey, you got two to three unidentified in your vagina. You got two to three, you got one to two unidentified DNA that's not his in you. So where did they come from? Guess what she tell the police? Guess what, what she tell them? What? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Shit. How else it got up in you? <laughs> Not speaking on this woman though, but damn, they got tests that could do that. What? Like, it's some motherfuckers running around here with a whole village in their vagina. Yeah, like, and you got this. This, this like, what you, you got. You got forty seven niggas. You got to see how you got to understand how DNA works. Like DNA <laughs> on, the, I think, staying a person for a couple hours. I believe. Ooh. I think like seventy two hours, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, it's... It's some, it's some motherfuckers running around here with a village up in their joint. But they were just prolonging this shit, like, the whole time. They were just prolonging. Like, the police had a different agenda. You trying to get some money, but you fucking on my whole life at this whole time. Like, motherfuckers want to cut back and, uh, or they, they can't do certain deals or, or can't really fuck with you right now until they figure out what's going on. Man, a couple of them. Motherfuckers want to hold their nuts on because they had to figure, which I understand is business. But they they gotta they gotta see how this shit gonna go. But at the same time, nigga, this hindering anything I got going on. Real talk. Like Dallas Mart, that's why I fuck with the nigga so strong, bro. Like he 
went like I had just signed over there. He went to bat with, for me like, nah, this ain't woo 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 like. At the time, like motherfucker wanted to down there dropping it because they felt like and how the internet was was portraying it as if it was like new allegations coming. Like it was only one allegation coming, but they started talking about the same allegation and repeating it as if it's another one. Right. So the label looking like, man, did he get charged with something else? Like, what's going on? You're like, nah, it's the same, it's the same shit. Like they want to put a hold on you releasing music or do like just sponsor anything. They want to hold on. We got to hold on right quick. Until you handle this and we see what's going on. And you know what's crazy? I see the pain in your eyes, man. Man, that shit, bro, that shit. I, when that man told me about my, I swear to God, bro, I'm one of the most non-emotional niggas you'll meet, bro. I don't, I don't let a lot of shit get to me. Man, I cried in that motherfucking uh, room, bro. When you talking about my kids, though? What? Nah. That shit, that shit, that shit fucked me up. That ain't no shit for a real nigga like me at all. They ain't shit. They ain't, they ain't nothing for me. Right. That was some whole shit. Welcome to another episode of the Million Dollars Worth of Game Business Spotlight, where we bring you the news you can use. I'm talking about some games, some guidance, intentions, motivation, education from people that's really doing it in real time on the ground. Today, we got, man, a young, I'm talking about a young married couple, man. They doing their thing. Yes, they I'm is. I'm talking about they going to give you the game on the air, B, and breakdown. They stuff is called the air, B, and breakdown. And before we even start, what you need to do, you need to text million B and B, text million B and B to 833-448-0214. 833-448-0214 and you're going to get the free book on I'm talking about the air B and breakdown how you do your thing I'm talking about this is what they do they're not playing no games now hold on before they before we get started I just want to commend y'all they 20 years old 20 years old they married they married been in the game since they was 19 years old uh, busting moves on Airbnb and they eating they eating they not cheating they eating they eating they ain't cheating. Listen, they not cheating, they eating. So if you 18, 19, 20, 17, 21, 26, 30, 35, there's no excuses out here. No excuses. You got two 20-year-old young adults who are married and they eating. I mean, eating, eating. Break that shit down, man. Break it down. How did you get in the game? How did y'all get in the game? So we started in May of 2021. Uh, it started off at one apartment downtown St. Louis. And we ran it up, got the Airbnb, started posting and started getting bookings. Yeah. Now we have Air 11 Airbnbs. It's been like a little over a year and a half. And we brought in over a quarter, uh, half a million dollars, I'd say. Yeah. Mm. That, that's, that's wild. So so what was the key to y'all your success? Like. The key to it was really wanting first to start off with the desire to just want more. And, you know, I never growing up, I was never like, I want to be an Airbnb host, but it's something that I can do. So it's like, yo, join me. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. It's a way to make a lot of money without putting in that much time. How so. much money did y'all need to start off with? It depends on the size. and the I would say eight to 15 K, but it really depends on the size of the unit and where it's located. So, and, and so 18, 15 K, if, if I'm Johnny, nobody, Give me the game because I know already know once again, listen, text million B and B and B to eight three three four four eight oh two one four to get the free ebook where they're gonna give you the game, but I'm also gonna get them to give you the game right now. I'm Johnny Nobody. I got eight thousand. How do I do it? All right, so first off, go get your LLC. So really, you have to go from being just a person to being a short-term rental company. It's so simple to get an LLC. It sounds scary, but you can go to inkfile.com. You put in your information. They send you back your LLC in like three weeks. It's pretty simple. Mm. And then what else I do? After that, you got to get your EIN number. So your EIN number is basically your business social security number, and that's how you get your business bank account, and that's how you go get the business credit cards, which is the funding for it. Yeah, so most people, obviously, you don't have eight or 15K just to go and get an Airbnb. So that's where the business credit comes in. Once you get that business bank account, you get that business credit card. Now you can fund your Airbnb and get started without even using your own money. Mm. And, and so now I go get the property. What am I doing? I'm leasing them. How do I do it? We rent. We don't own any property. So we have 11 properties and we rent them all. We don't own anything. And like I said, and we y'all rent them under that one company name? Under that one yeah. company name. And y'all just go, here it is, rent. And then y'all just, how is it like, is it a price point of what you should, like your first property should be like yeah or your first rental should be how much it should be yeah so we don't look in terms of how much it costs we look in terms of how much it's going to make us so if we spend twenty eight hundred dollars a month on our airbnb we looking to bring in four to six thousand dollars profit that same month okay so y'all ain't even tripping about how much you make now how, how, you know when it comes to 
teaching how do y'all go about teaching people about how to do this because there's people right now that's watching like if it wasn't for this he'd be sitting here on the couch somewhere and somebody eat in his mom crib eating up all the food in the refrigerator so you got dudes like him couch warriors all around and they might don't have that money how do they get in the game if they don't have that money can you know how would they get in the game like doing your teaching process so that's why like you go you make your llc okay. you get that business bank account you get those business credit cards to fund it and that way you don't have to use your own money then you create your website your website is basically just stating what your company does who you are and what you offer so then when you go and reach out to a landlord and say i want to rent this space from you you send them your website this is what i do and then if they want to work with you you rent the space out under a corporate lease so you're renting it out under your company that you just created the llc under and you can start making money. And that's Thank easy. You. And it, is all this in the free ebook that is yoga? All of it's in the free ebook. Oh, and this Beginning ebook is free. End. Everything, every every detail is free. So how, how how long did it take you to go from your first property to two more properties to four more? How long did it take the night? So what happened was our first month we made like forty five hundred dollars profit and we were like, I right, the math is simple. If we keep getting more units, we just gonna keep making more money. So as soon as we made that first month, a few months after that, I think it was like four months after we got our first one. And then next month we got our third one and then we went back. The beginning, the beginning scaling was slow, but then after we got a few of them, we just went all in and got like at once. We signed like four homes at once. So don't y'all when they got four at once? Yeah. Four. But we don't own any of these though. And y'all just killed it. And that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Because but, if something happens to the property, then uh do you have to fix it or do the owner have to fix it? The so, owner. Yeah. Right. So you just basically Paying him rent. That's it. For what he would want, but then putting tenants in there and making money off a of top of the rent that you're giving him. Exactly. Yeah. So we don't That's, do any profit shares. We don't do any of that. We pay them their asking rent and then we pay like our cleaners to clean it. After that, it's all profit. Our units make anywhere from like 2000 to like eight or $6,000. Depending on the size. Month. Yeah. But the, the problem most people have is how do I, so most people will say, can I do Airbnb in your house? That's not how you do it. In our ebook, we literally give you the, the exact pitch that we use to get all of these properties. So get that ebook, literally send that out to 10 property owners in one day. Somebody can get back to you. You're good. Yeah. The biggest thing is just professionalism. If you can reach out to them and show that you're a company and not just a person, that's really how you get them to say yes. And you get that first property. That's what this is about now. Okay. What is the setup like on air? Like, is it a certain setup or a certain languages y'all use when y'all describing y'all Airbnbs? The way you take the pictures is all of that play a part of it? Definitely, it definitely does. You got to hire a professional real estate photographer to take those pictures. Oh, real estate photographer? They got real estate photographers? Yeah, yeah. the wide angle lens. The yeah. What? And, 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 and hold on, real estate photographers? Uh huh. So y'all highly the really and, and who did the write ups? So you do the write ups? She think low key. She do everything. She do the pictures. I, yeah. She get behind the pictures. She do the interior designing. I do more so like the front end work, like how to make the listing. But even in that ebook, we tell you exactly what to, how to make your listing, like the description, how to word it, house rules, everything. So so basically, let me ask them a question. So, at nineteen years old, when you getting into this, is this something that? you knew you was going to be successful at it. Was this something that you was just like, fuck it, let's just try it, see where it could take us. And then at the end of the first month, y'all was like, wait, this shit made us $6,000. This shit made us $4,000. Okay, let's go all the way in. Yeah, I mean, when you come from working hour to hour to get money and you make $45 profit from not trading all your time for that money, it's a no-brainer. You're like, we didn't know we'd be successful, but if it worked a little bit, we put a little bit more in, it's going to work big time. We dropped out of college freshman year, first semester, and I already knew I wanted to do entrepreneurship. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait hold on, because you said we, yeah. so what, this was a joint, joint, like, a joint venture. you dropping out, I'm dropping out, too, we're, we're going to just do this Y'all was going to the same university? No. Nah. I had a full ride to a private university, full, like, full ride, but. What was your major? Marketing. Marketing. Now, let yeah. me just tell you something. You Damn. know, right, if this didn't work out. You would be the piece of shit. You know that, right? He made her drop out of school. Yep. <laughs> Damn, what are they doing? They're Amen. fucking being losers. <laughs> like, you know, if this <laughs> didn't work out, our mom and dad would be like, you piece of shit. They would be looking at you different. So it's luckily you had a hell of a, y'all came up with a hell of a plan. And that go to show you that Damn. sometimes, you know, college might not be the best route for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because they might have 
did four years in college and then came home and was making $60,000 a year. We made $60,000 in May th from Airbnb. That's what I'm saying. 60000 in and month. And the, the thing is, when you come from where we come from, if you go to college, so the way I see it is everybody in my family, you know, they had their chance to fail at it. So let's say I drop out of college and it don't work. I won't be the first one. But if it do work, I am the first one. So let's just try it. Damn, nah, I'm pretty sure his parents weren't trying to hear that shit at the time. <laughs> they, they wasn't. I mean, Uncle they Johnny how dropped feel, down. How do they feel and, now? And, and us. <laughs> mom's happy. She got her own Airbnb. I run the whole thing for her. Oh, sh damn. He didn't put both, moms both in. Of our, both of our moms our mom have too. Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> You and that, so y'all gave them y'all sat down and said, Look, look at what we doing. They seen that first month, they was like, Y'all mean 60. Hold uh -huh. on, oh, this shit wrote. Let me get one, right? And now they just like, They happy y'all dropped. Uh -huh. yeah, Would y'all moms like y'all some BMFs? A little bit, a little some bit. bad motherfuckers. Yeah, nah, huh? I was thinking for a second, like, <laughs> now nah, my mom calls me every day. She's like, I'm trying to get my next Airbnb. Like, what's up? I'm like, But now we're trying to get into the space of owning, so yeah. I'm like. Trying to figure out if we want to do rental arbitrage, which is just no, no, renting the Airbnb. That's the key, though. So first, you start off by using other people's property. Then you use that money that you get from that and go buy you something. So you got you something to okay, your name so, and so, pass it down. So you got OPM, then you got OPP, other mm -hmm. people property. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you Both use other people property to put some paper to get your paper. Other people pro Damn. And other people's money. You don't have to have your own OPM, cash OPP. or a property. But yeah. then eventually, y'all goals is to own the properties, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So That's then when you know yet. when you don't want to do Airbnb no more or you you know you want to sell the houses you know because the 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 way the real estate market is going is crazy you know what I mean you could you buy a house for 500,000 and then when it's time to sell right now the shit be selling for 900,000 exactly yeah you know what I mean so but uh I commend y'all man because like we 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 highlight a lot of business spotlights, you know what I mean. And there's a lot of people out here that's doing their thing, and I salute them. But I really, really, really give y'all salute because y'all the youngest people we ever had on here that's doing it at this high of a level. High level. You know what I'm saying? And this is this is inspiration for all the youth that's watching us to be like, oh, I didn't graduate college. Oh. I, I dropped out of high school. Oh, I, my life ain't been the perfect. Oh, I can I can do that. Yeah, I, I can do that too. Like the way they just broke that down, it don't take a rocket scientist to do this shit. So y'all really going to change some people's lives on this shit, man. And I really appreciate y'all. I want to commend y'all, man, for being 20 years old, being a solid foundation and getting money together, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. And listen, man, I want y'all to be tap in, man. Uh, before I pull some more game out, I need y'all to know the importance of this. Go ahead and get this free ebook. The ebook mm -hmm. is free. They out here, they making it happen. They convinced their moms that once was upset that they decided to drop out of college to say, oh, no, I'm getting in this game because y'all know what y'all doing. For moms to jump in the game, like, they got to be knowing what they're mm -hmm. doing. So what you need to do is, I'm talking about, y'all need to get the air B and breakdown, right? Well, the way you get that is listen, text million B and B to 833-448-0214. 833-448-0214 and get the free ebook. I'm talking about not 10 people, not a hundred people, not a everybody. thousand people. Everybody getting this ebook for free. And then everybody is getting this ebook for free. You know? And and what is all in this ebook? We include everything from start to finish, how to get your first Airbnb, what to do after you got it, how to keep scaling, what automations you need. So like even we have 11 Airbnbs that bring in sometimes over $60,000 a month. We put in maybe an hour of work a week, if even that on the Airbnbs. Like we don't even live. So all of our Airbnbs are in St. Louis. We live in Vegas. They're remote. Like we live in Vegas. Talk heavy. <laughs> hold on. Hold, hold. So, so, who, so who's the, y'all got a property manager for them? Now we got a cleaning team and then we got automations and softwares. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So our automations do everything. Smart locks, doorbell cameras, automated pricing, automated messaging. Noise device. All that. Y'all don't do, sh so y'all be in Vegas and they all just send it. Y'all send it. Y'all be out in Vegas eating tacos, dancing, <laughs> dancing and all, and all that. that shit. They be at the Cosmopolitan all, all that shit. Like, we made 80,000 this month, baby. Eating at all the buffets and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so cleaning people come, y'all just Beep, open the door. We don't even got to. They, it's a self check in like smart lock. So they have their own code. Each cleaner, like for their units, they have their own code that they can put in. 
from checkout to check in, they can get in. They like even our our automations automate their schedule. So every time we have someone book on Airbnb at the time of their checkout, our automation like adds a cleaning to our cleaner's calendar. So we don't even have to do scheduling. That's all done too. They just show up, clean, it's done. Who came up with the Airbnb idea? Me. You? Mm-hmm. You. But this this the this the executor though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. Just asking like, who came up with it. Now when you came me. up with it, was she in agreement? It's like, wait, baby, was it a little kickback? Like, I don't know. But. Yeah. Nah, we was just trying different shit. So she had tried a journey. It, it ain't work. I tried some. It hit. So we both went in on it. We were trying everything. Like, I, I was trading stock options. I was doing drop shipping. I was doing oh. anything. I'm doing, I'm going to figure out what's going to work for mm-hmm. entrepreneurship so I can make some money. So the bottom line is you guys are hustlers. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, first and foremost, that's what it takes to be successful. You got to be a hustler. So she's like, well, I was doing anything. I'm trading stocks. So yeah. I was really getting to selling used cars. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't playing. Damn. She, you, got, you can't play out here because life ain't playing, man. Life is serious. And I bet you, I'm a parent. So I know if my motherfucking daughter was like, Dad, I'm dropping out of college. I think I want to get into the Airbnb game. I would have been like, I'm going to put you in fucking Airbnb in heaven and you can get your stupid ass back to fuck the school. You know what I'm saying? So I could imagine what they went through. I could imagine how their parents was, you know, even if they were supportive yeah. behind closed doors, they was like, how the fuck she going to drop out of college with some fucking Airbnbs? But now their parents is like, when is my motherfucking second Airbnb coming? Because y'all take it too long to set me up. <laughs> so that's a beautiful thing, man. Now, 20 the, years old. Get that number out again, man. Get this number out. It's imperative what you need to do. that y'all get this ebook. What you need to do, you need to text million BNB to 833 448 833-448-0214. You see it on the screen. But before we get out of here, what advice or what motivation should you give to somebody that's watching this right now on the couch about getting this book and why this book is so important? First piece of advice. So get this book first, go through it. And then every Sunday we have a free masterclass where we're going to break the book down live. So if you have questions, you can mm. ask us. Mm. Yeah, we go through all that. But honestly, like my biggest thing is like anybody can do it. It doesn't really matter where you came from. You know, everybody has different stories. Everyone has their own struggles. Mm. But if you put in the work, it's possible for you to. Like, I used to be the person, like, see all these people. I'm like, damn, like, how are they doing that? But then, like, really, you just got to keep trying. It only doesn't work if you give up. So there's, like, those other, like, things I tried. The only reason they didn't work is because I stopped, you know? But I only stopped because Airbnb started taking off. And I'm mm. like, all right, you know. The Airbnb Airbnb queen. Going well, so. <laughs> but you, you just got to keep at it, keep trying, like, it might seem hard, but it's much more simple than you think. I'm telling you, in this ebook, we break it down. It's simple. It's achievable for anyone. And it don't matter where you come from. My parents been out, in and out of prison growing up. I'm still here. So don't, leave, don't let that be an excuse. Let that be your advantage. Listen, man. And that's coming from the Airbnb Prince and Princess. You heard it, man. <laughs> Stop playing games. Get the get ebook, ebook right now. Text million B B to 833-448-0214. 833-448-0214. And that was another episode of Million Dollars River Game Business Spotlight. And it's just like that. Right. Now, now, what what advice do you got to artists? Because man. we live in a world where everybody partying, all types of women. You got all IG girl. You know how this shit go. Yeah. What advice do you got to the young artists that's coming up? Man, you like, really, and like I tell them, you bro, you just, it's one of them things where you just got to be careful of your surroundings and who you dealing with and kind of got to know people before you just, just be out here slanging. You get what I'm saying? Because that's just the world we in, bro. You young, having money, having fun, you having your way. Bitch, you going to come, so that's what you going to be on. But some of these motherfuckers, it's into what what I call the broke bitch sport. You know what I'm saying? The broke bitch hustle. They want to lie and say niggas did something to them. Or they want to get in a relationship and act like, you You know what I'm saying? It's all type of hustle that they didn't pull in this game, bro. And these hoes not even getting held accountable for it. So basically, I just say to them, really just, man, just try to be smart. Just be smart, man. It ain't, it ain't like I can just, it's not no way I can just... I, all the way just tell a nigga, hey, bro, if you do this, this ain't going to happen to you because I'll be lying. I don't know how the shit will come. It don't, it, I don't know. Like, it came on some crazy shit with me. So I just tell a nigga, be smart, bro. Just really just be smart. Watch your surroundings. Try to get to know a motherfucker. Try to try, <laughs> try less to be a horn dog as much as possible. Like, just try to chill a little bit. You know what and, I'm saying? And what's so crazy is that 
Say you did fuck her. Right. 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 Raw. One of your, you one of the four or three or five niggas that's, that's in there, now, right? Yeah. Now you got a serious case. Yeah. Now your fucking life is really on the line. Yeah. It ain't, this ain't, now how you provide for your family. All the shit you got is on the line now. Your freedom, because m- most important than anything is your fucking freedom. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You can't even. It, it, some of the hardest shit to do as a father is when you when you in jail and you go to jail, and then when you come home, your child a whole different fucking person, man. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So you having your freedom man, on the line. Anything could have went like just imagine if you want to just try to jet like because it's bro. Just imagine how many young people or just nigga who actually had sex with a woman. She voluntarily did it, but she want to spin it as if you done something to her. And your DNA in this motherfucker, and then she wait till years later, or years later that you find out that that motherfucker really didn't rape him. You just got mad, and you finally came out. How many athletes then went through that shit? Oh, yeah. A lot of people ain't one in my position where they can afford to pay all them, them lawyers and all this shit to, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I spent a lot of bum on just dry going to jail on shit. And a, and a lot of motherfuckers end up just paying it off just because they don't want to even be in the media no more. I had a couple homeboys. They, they tired of, yeah. I had a couple athlete homeboys told me they went through that same shit. Uh-huh. Hey, going to pay it out, bro. Just going to get out the way. Nah. No, because they tired of hearing. Dun, 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 the latest in the, the such and such rape case, you like. Mm-hmm. Painting this picture like you a monster. You sitting there like the rape case. This bitch threw my glizzy in her mouth on her own. Like, I got to keep hearing this shit 30 days in. Dun, 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 dun. He just went to court for his rape case. You like, man, fuck it, man. Get a bitch 700. Get a, <laughs> you can't even take ESPN no more. You like, get a bitch 700. Right. Hey, and that's what they want you to do. They want Real you tough. They want you to try to settle out of court. Man, I'm not doing that, bro. Yeah, I'm not that. Hey, it's just easy for me just just back up and just stay out the way. Like, I definitely ain't going like you ain't finna black. I done had a bitch try to tell me some shit like that. I'm, I'm, ooh, hey, baby, might as well go on and tell her who you finna tell her to. I'll tell her for you because I'm not doing it. 10,000, uh, or I'm gonna show a video to suck. Hey, go do it. Right. Want me call for you? I'm not doing that. Right. That's just me. Some niggas would rather just do it. I mean, that's cool, but, and that don't mean that they guilty. I know a lot of niggas ain't guilty for that shit. They right. just don't want to deal with that pain in the house. Right. Yeah. Because that shit really do fuck up a lot of business for a person. For real. And if you ain't got the relationships and people like, man, these niggas will sink you under. And, and it what's so right? crazy is even if you do got the relationship with people, it don't matter. They're going to still back up off you. You could, sure. be, you could be a motherfucking this company forever. A motherfucking allegation come out from a raggedy motherfucker with no credibility. If it get enough push... They gonna call you in there. They gonna cry with you. Listen, sorry, Jim. <laughs> I gotta do it. They called me from up top. I for gotta, real? I know you've been here for 111 years, but uh, <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's, it's a fucked up situation that a person because the reality of it is this: you supposed to be innocent to proven guilty. No, that shit but the minute some allegations come out, nigga, you guilty, nigga. Right. You're guilty till you're proven innocent. All right, we're going to take away these $100 million contracts over these fucking allegations because, Quick. nigga, you guilty. And then this the fuck, though, Paul. When you prove that the bitch is in the wrong, don't nothing happen to them. It got to be some law put into effect for this shit. Oh, they just, yeah, man, oh, that bitch got to get a 5 to 10, man. Man, these, these bro. They got to give a bitch a 5 to 10 because then the bitches stop playing. Hey, man, listen. If they don't give, if they don't set no law for that, bro, they going to continue to do this shit. They, and then they put these folks on the John Doe so they can go to another city and do the same shit and you won't even know. You get what I'm saying? Listen, I'm just saying this, right? We got to change the laws to when a bitch be lying. That's an automatic 5 to 10. For soon real. as you get caught, bitch, you're going up. That'll, that'll stop a lot of that bullshit right. from going on. Because that's a so, broke bitch sport. That's that's that's, that's their hustle. Right. Because as soon as a bitch think about that, that nickel, <laughs> she think about that nickel, Shh. yeah, they get a bitch mind right. Yeah. She be right on the phone, 911. <laughs> you would, uh, nah. 
Nah, for real. <laughs> they giving off all the for this shit. I'm Man, going. for real, bro. Just imagine how many people lives been fucked up all type of A shit. lot of niggas, man. A lot of motherfuckers' lives been fucked up, and I'm going to keep it all the way real, though. It's a flip side to that, too. A lot of women lives been fucked up because there's a lot of power. There's a lot of niggas out here and, with money who to take their power and to listen, a different listen, level, and, 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 and they just and start and whipping this, titties out. This shit. is exactly what I'm finna say. She make it hard for people who actually went through this shit. Like it's people actually in the cloud that don't even want to talk about it. Really went through some fucked up trauma, like a nigga really raped them, bitch, and you playing with it. Right. You. This the reason why a lot of women don't want to come out. Right. And say that they've been through this shit because you want to lie, right. and 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 no goddamn well it wasn't nothing close to that shit. And play, and motherfuckers don't really like that. That make people don't believe nothing that people say. Right. Once that you once a nigga prove that that shit was false, you make it bad, and that motherfucker gonna feel like every bitch that I mean, excuse me, everyone that been through that gonna be. Like, I ain't gonna come out because they gonna think I'm lying. Right. Right, and there's a lot of lame ass niggas though that use their money and their power. And then, then, you know what I mean? No, don't mean no no more. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? For sure. I'm just saying. So I'm not even a, aggressive, it, 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 nigga. That's the thing. I be wanting a motherfucker come on to me. Well, we know you like. You nah, like that's what I'm nigga, saying. Like, nah, you you high yellow, nigga. Man, you ain't aggressive, man. You think you cuter than the bitches, man? We know. <laughs> We Fred know how you high call, yellow man. nigga. Dude, that's why you really was offended crying. <laughs> a pretty nigga like me taking some pussy. Yeah. Hell <laughs> Bitch, you put nah. this on my name. Hell no. Nah. That ain't say bro, that yeah. ain't that ain't shit I wish on no nigga, bro. Yeah, if you if you don't if you ain't really done that, bro, I don't wish that shit on nobody, bro. Real shit. Yeah, that's I'll a different that type of stress nobody, level, bro. type Honestly. of hurt. Like, bro, for real, bro. You that'll make a muff say a lot of people uh, uh clock out. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I don't any nigga that lie on a motherfucker and jeopardize their life is some crazy shit. Sick ass motherfucker. Because just the thought of that you could go to jail about some shit that's not real. That's what hurts you the most. That's what you'd be like. I could really be going to jail. I could really be giving up my hard earned fucking money about some shit that's not the truth. But and then I'm gonna take accountability for myself too. I put myself in the situation. Yeah, in a bitch inbox. Yeah. Or uh, doing what I'm like. That's that just real. You gotta be. You gotta take it. Like that shit just don't affect you. That f- affect everybody around you. That yeah. affect your family. Man. I'm looking yeah. at. I got step kids and all that shit. Like they going to school, nigga. They people coming up to them about that. You get what I'm saying? Coming up to him about that. Like I own up to my shit and own up putting myself in that situation. Even indulging, like talking wise, not me doing the shit because I done, didn't do that. We all know that. I'm saying me even just putting myself in that situation. Right, Slow yeah. down, young nigga. Look at That's you it. all in the DM. She told you she wanted to comb your shag. <laughs> he was right. If we yeah, fly out. <laughs> nah, it just, nah, be for real. You gotta, you gotta be a man about shit too, though. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. what I mean? That sometimes that DM ain't always because I'm. Because let me tell Sometimes you something, man. You got you chill, got a bro. lot of Dangerous motherfuckers message. on niggas angle. Niggas need to chill, nigga. I look at it like this, it, nigga. It could have been that, or a bitch could have been trying to send me up on, on another type of way. Send a nigga in the house. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I think about all type of shit like that. Right. Absolutely. It's, but, it's a flip side to all that shit. Like absolutely, nigga just gotta be man enough to admit that shit. And mm. I am. Yeah, you fucked up, but you didn't fuck up. Yeah, for sure. So you know. And that, and that, like one thing we like to say in every le- in every lesson is a blessing. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And you know the blessing of it now. To you know, you ain't gonna stop DMing bitches, but you know, you gonna DM. I, I, ain't, I ain't DMing shit, Gilly. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't trying to do shit. I ain't DMing shit, Gilly. Hell, right, you now, about? now, favorite song on the new album, man. Favorite song. Um, I don't know. Probably like, I don't know. I got a couple, man. I kind of like. I'm I'm more of a heart, heartfelt type of person, so I like listen to the shit where I'm like kind of bleeding out my feelings. So it, it's one of them that I just did called Me Too. I got one called Fuck Everybody, and then it's another one that I got called uh, What's the one I did with uh, your son, B, uh, Ziggy? Nah, the newest one. I'm gonna be doing um. LA Yeah ain't it funny So it's like It gotta be some shit Where it's like heartfelt Believe that Yeah Absolutely When the album dropping I don't know 
I'm, I'm, I'm still cooking, shit. Still cooking yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I'm cooking up. I'm still cooking and I'm letting motherfuckers know that, like, nigga, he, he dropping that shit again. So we strategizing on a couple things that I, uh, that I dropped. What, like this last month or so was Pimp C with ESTG. Then I got one called Don't Fuck With Me. And I dropped the mixtape just one of the streets back up too. It's called Badass Yellow Boy. Believe that. Yeah. Believe that. So make sure y'all go check that Badass yeah. Yellow Boy out, man. And, uh, man, we appreciate you flying in and fucking with us, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. You, know, you said you had some shit to say. You know, we represent for the youth. The owners of tomorrow, we glad you're in a new situation. Yeah. Glad you back, you know, distributing the streets with that motherfucking butter to make the fiend stutter. Good, good, give me another. Yeah. Got you. you know what I mean? Keep dropping that so, shit. So, Don't so, stop. So, 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 Wallo, we going to get back on this EJ. And, um. We ain't got to get back on that. Every time I talk about boots, you, 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 you stutter. So we ain't. I fuck with boots. But oh, wait till, wait till I, I, I just, just want to shout out to my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Man down. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. I'm a big fan of Errol Spencer. You know what I'm saying? Let me just say this for the record. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Terrence Crawford. I'm a big fan of Errol Spence. I'm a big fan of Jerron Boots Ennis. Just, just no boots is the best. That's all boots. Come I mean, you're supposed to say that. He no, from no, your no, 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that. You see a young nigga. See the young nigga. Yes, I said he's stepping all oh, damn. He couldn't even say that. He just had to laugh at and the And we're going to kick y'all out when we play Philly. So no, big shit, nigga. I'm hunting you down because you, 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 you're about five, ten thousand up on me, nigga. I need mine. Back I mean, who far was that? No, it was my fault. Okay. I, I, I picked the wrong niggas. It's yeah, cool. you ain't picked the wrong niggas. I'll get you back this time. I'll pick get you back and, this and, time. And, and, and. And his girl went and bought some shoes with that money, man. Remember you said, Wallow, send him the send him the money. Yeah. I said he said, No, send it to my girl, man. She going I said, What? Rotten ass nigga. Yeah, he's yeah a, man. He's a, he's yeah, a rotten yeah, motherfucker, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. get it back though. Shout out, shout out to D Herb Boutique at the same time. Y'all go get them extensions and big bundles. And oh, that's shit. your woman. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, that's why you ain't yeah. in no DMs. So who mm -hmm. gave that? I, I ain't even know you was in a relationship. Yeah, 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 man. You know, get them long hair extensions. Well, that's before you get out of here, man. Mm -hmm. Don't, she, don't, how, don't be no nut how, ass nigga. No, how, how, was she, how was she the one that, that, that got you out of all the DMs? Man, I ain't gonna lie. That 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 been my shoulder for the, for the, for the long. You know, it just be off and on shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But that motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, she she was the opposite one. She want the one. Oh, baby, get up there. She nah, nigga, fuck you. You should have done that all that shit. Oh yeah, she cussed you the fuck out. Huh? What? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why you love her because she was the fuck one that you cut you out. You think you're slick trying to come ask me for some money? No, you go ask uh -huh. that bitch. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Had you buying all types of zai? <laughs> you know what I love. Hey, you about the doghouse, fellas? Stay at the doghouse. That shit costly. It's costly. It was like little dirty. You put me on that black list. I don't, know I don't like to be on that black list. <laughs> Yeah, you did a, you did a, you tell me, just keep it real. Mm -hmm. Real nigga to real nigga. Right. Did you shed a tear to get her back? Nah. Huh? Mm-mm. I told her, the only thing that, what, what, what hurt me, bro, was that they were playing with my kids. No, but I know your woman was, she was hot. Yeah, but I ain't, nah, it was, I was just fucked up about that. So you just mixed the sorry in with that. Nah, man, why you worry about how I wiggle my wiggles? <laughs> nah, man, we, for one, hey, I don't even know what bro talking about, man. Ain't that, black men don't cheat, you got there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas don't cheat. Mm -hmm. You know what nah, I mean? We, we was at a downtime at that period. That's all it was. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. I'm if glad I ever did back. some shit, it, it, we won together. That's all it is. I'm glad you're back, though, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Because if she back, she deserve it. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man, appreciate you for coming through, man. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, man, you already know. We locked in. Dallas vs. Eagles. Yes. Errol Spence vs. Boots. You know what I mean? We locked in, nigga. Don't be running, nigga. Sure. Don't be hard to find, nigga. For sure. I wasn't hard to find when 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 you was trying to track me down. Don't be hard to find that. Y'all got Cooper Rush. 
Hey, I man, don't want to be fucking right calling with... you to bet on I... this motherfucking game. So, what, and so, now so, I can't so, get so in contact with you. What, what we bet? We're going to set the record straight right here because you, you and you had some shit going on. So I want to know what are we betting right before we can get this live? What are we betting when we play? 5,000. 5,000. The same shit you beat me for. Fuck you, me. I need my cr- hey, It's crazy. I'm finna be up <laughs> a dime. You thought I was gonna say it's, a stack. Hey, it's crazy. I'm finna be up a dime on this man. Who you, 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 send, you gonna send it, Walla? No, no. Yeah, I, mostly. <laughs> but I'm gonna say this. If that happens, I'm gonna say this. I'm betting when Boots fight Errol, uh-huh. I'm betting 100,000. How do we know? Is that fight gonna happen? It's gonna happen. No, because Errol get the fuck up out of it. He all answered the 154. Bye. Just remember, Chance I said what I said. If it, if it ever happened, how much we been? A hundred thousand. A hundred. He good for it too. Huh? Oh he, no no he ain't oh, no no no! I, I know the paper ain't the, ain't the problem. I'm just, I'm just trying to see like a how flat hundred. That's all. It's a hundred. That he's gonna win. This man gonna be hurt. Nigga sent a hundred thousand to the jails last year to his old cell. Oh, I know the money ain't the problem. Listen, I know man, that. We bet. I just 100. know how niggas gonna be hurt when that money come up. Cause no, I ain't gonna lie, cause Gilly down and cried. Two was in the bed, had to massage me. No, and everything. he didn't cry. <laughs> he down there wanted to. Two had to massage. I said, I said, rub his head. <laughs> I said, rub, listen, rub his listen, head. Listen, it wasn't, the a, it wasn't the money. It was his love for the sport. Yeah, it wasn't the chicken. It was the chicken. It was my love for the, for the yeah, sport. Yeah, that's it. And the fact that I had to see your bright yellow ass on there talking shit for as soon as he won. What, nigga? Hey, R.I.P. R.I.P. PMB Rock. Because he got on there talking shit, too. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, I, I, right, I was right, trying right, to get my lick back. I, was, I said, rock. oh, no. Nah, he, you know, he was talking this shit. I was feeling shit. R.I.P., bro, man. I, I wish I could get Did my lick back. y'all bet some money? No, nah, we, didn't, we didn't bet. We were supposed to after that, though. Like, whenever it come down to a Dallas versus Philly thing. You know oh, what I'm saying? okay. So, all right, bet, man. Well, rest in peace to P and B Rock, yeah, man. Sure. Love you, nephew. You gone, but not forgotten, yeah. man. We are gonna always sure. hold you down on million dollars worth of game. But we just want to say we thank you for coming through, brother. We, we, you know, we supporting back everything you got going on. Keep going up. You know what I mean. Now you free. You want a new label? It's your time, nigga. Do, go stupid. Oh, we gonna go crazy. Go stupid. That's it. Exclusive shit. Blaming on monster. Oh. This the fuck nigga keep dirty macking on me. But I'ma keep shit player though. And I ain't never fucked on this nigga little bitch. So what you stare for? Say lil' baby, I don't kiss and tell. Shit for real, I'ma play a hoe. Bitch keep being messy, bringing up my name. I can't hit her, but I pay a hoe. Twelve keep trying to come and fuck with me. That's why I be staying low. Every time a little thirsty bitch try to beg, I start playing, bro. <laughs> Only thing I got to offer, bitch, is a headache. You better ask your man, ho. Got that room, my little shooter, come and shoot you. That's what I pay him for. Mm. Baby mama believe anything a bitch tell her. Just talk. If the bitch finally got some ass on her, in her mind, I rock her. Heard that nigga there claiming my clique. Nigga ain't on my roster. Uh. These niggas out here claiming that they uh-huh. shoot. Niggas ain't busting no chopper. Ow! Heard these niggas rock ski masks now. Yeah. These niggas ain't no robbers. No problem. Uh. These niggas love trying to talk from a fuck. But they don't want none of these problems. No yeah. You tend to dick by the bitch you think that I hit. Say, Say just stop. Stop. Uh. Shit, I got two minute options. Two minutes tripping on shit. We can swap. Two minutes. Yeah. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. Talk to them. Shit. Uh-huh. Hey, I know these niggas don't fuck with me. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. Nah, hold on. Hey, I know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. Not at all. Yeah. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. Yeah, what? Hey, What's that? These niggas can't fuck with a picture. I ain't shit to be played with. Nah. You can go on with that dissing, buddy. Put some, put some bread on these bitches' head. Yeah. How you little ass missing, missing buddy? Huh? Fuck you soft about a bitch fuck. Huh? And now your bitches up. Huh? Fuck <laughs> nigga, I heard mad because a little bitch came and got a picture. You talk if he that don't shit, like nigga. Ten times out of ten, nigga think that this bitch fuck. Mm-hmm. If a nigga don't fuck with me, she can fuck me. Ain't no dick sucking. Shit, I don't owe a bitch nothing. Get my money, nigga, keep trucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Bitch, don't quit sucking. Young gigolo, no quick pump. Might rub my head and hit the duggy. Mm-hmm. I ain't gotta yeah. fuck with now mm-hmm. one of these niggas. niggas. I only wanna get what? money. Nah, what, what you eat don't make, make me shit, shit nigga. Huh. I'm just saying, saying homie. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. What? I know these niggas don't fuck with me. No. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. No. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. No, they don't. Shit. They don't. Huh. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. No. Uh-huh. I know these niggas don't fuck with me. Yeah. Uh-huh. I know yeah. these niggas yeah. don't fuck with me. Wait, 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 hold on. 
know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. That right. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. That right. I know these niggas can't fuck with me. Yeah. Luckily, they get a. Oh, hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> nigga. Look at you. This is Cody, no, bro. No, no. Go ahead. You, you watch the rapper. Oh, fuck out of here, nigga. This is your dog. I ain't, you ain't got no bars in you, man. Fuck what you talk about. <laughs> Watch hey, rap, listen, man. man. It's million dollars worth of game. Tom Jello, be easy, and it's just like that. Right.